territories are the lifelines for many animals, providing them with food, shelter, and a place to raise their young. A prime example of this can be seen in the wilds of North America, where the battle for territory is a daily reality for wolves. For these majestic creatures, territory doesn't just mean home, it's the key to survival. Packs will fight tooth and nail to assert dominance over hunting grounds, the lifeblood of their survival. As a rival pack approaches, a tense standoff ensues. Hackles rise, growls fill the crisp air, and the scene is set for a fierce clash. Yet this struggle for territory isn't unique to the wolves. In the heart of Africa, hippos, often perceived as gentle giants, defend their aquatic territories with a surprising ferocity. A yawn from a hippo may seem innocuous, even comical to the untrained eye, but in reality it's a stark warning. It's the beast way of saying, this is my patch, intrude at your peril. When push comes to shove, these seemingly placid creatures transform, revealing the deadly power of their enormous jaws. Territorial disputes are a testament to the lengths animals will go to ensure their survival and that of their offspring. These battles, often brutal and unforgiving, are a crucial part of life in the wild. They are the means through which animals secure the resources they need to thrive and the way they keep competition at bay. As the dust settles, the victor remains, basking in the hard-fought glory of maintaining their territory. For the defeated, the future is uncertain. They must venture into the unknown, find a new home, or face the harsh reality of nature's law. Those who cannot secure their territory may perish. This is the harsh yet fascinating reality of territorial disputes in the wild. When the mating season arrives, the battle for love begins. As the chill of winter fades and spring blooms, nature's stage is set for the fiercest of rivalries. High in the rugged mountains, rams become warriors. Their peaceful grazing gives way to thunderous clashes. Horns lock and bodies collide in a test of strength and endurance. The victor wins not only the right to mate, but also the chance to pass on his strong genes, ensuring the survival of his lineage. But these contests of strength are not confined to the mountains. Delve into the undergrowth and you'll find battles of a different scale. Beetles, though small in stature, are fierce competitors in the game of love. Their antler-like jaws serve a purpose beyond intimidation. These miniature weapons are used to pry and toss rivals from branches demonstrating their strength to potential mates. In the world of beetles, it's not just about size. It's about the will to fight, the drive to succeed. Mating rivalries, while intense, play a crucial role in nature's grand plan. These battles ensure that only the strongest and most fit individuals reproduce. Through these fierce encounters, nature weeds out the weak and promotes the survival of the fittest. It's a brutal yet essential part of the circle of life. In the end, it's not just about the battle, it's about the future. Each clash, each victory, each defeat shapes the generations to come. It's a testament to the power and resilience of life, a reminder of the sacrifices made for the continuation of species. In these clashes of power and determination, only the strongest will pass on their lineage. It's a world where love isn't just about attraction, it's about survival, strength, and the unyielding will to carry on. So as we witness these intense rivalries, we're reminded of the raw, unfiltered power of nature and the relentless drive of life itself. In the face of hunger, the fight for food can turn allies into enemies. The struggle to eat is a universal one, calling all creatures to the battlefield. In the African plains, the competition is fierce, as lions and hyenas, two of nature's most formidable predators, are often drawn into violent confrontations over the spoils of a hunt. In a world where every meal counts, these predators, who'd normally steer clear of each other, are forced to engage in a deadly dance. The lion, the king of the beasts, roars in defiance, laying claim to the carcass. But the hyenas, cunning and relentless, are not easily deterred. Even though one lion can overpower a single hyena, a clan of these laughing predators can quickly turn the tables on the lion, leading to a brutal free-for-all for the precious meat. But the competition for sustenance is not confined to the ground. High above in the vast expanse of the sky, a similar struggle ensues. The seagulls, often seen as peaceful coastal creatures, can be ruthless when it comes to feeding. A flurry of feathers and squawks fills the air as they dive and dart, competing for fish. 
the stronger, faster birds snatch the fish from the water, leaving the slower ones to go hungry. The struggle for food is a harsh reality of survival in the wild. It's a battle that transcends species, landscapes and ecosystems, stretching from the plains of Africa to the skies above the ocean. The fight for food is a primal instinct, a testament to the indomitable will of life to persist against all odds. In the fight for food, there are no rules, only survival. From the ground to the sky, from the smallest insect to the largest predator, every creature fights to survive, to eat, to live another day. This is the undeniable, unyielding law of the wild. When two apex predators cross paths, the result is a clash of titans. This is an arena where the stakes couldn't be higher, a dance of raw power and cunning where every move could mean life or death. In such a world, the line between hunter and hunted blurs and the only sure thing is uncertainty. In the dense jungles, home to an array of formidable hunters, leopards and cheetahs stand as the epitome of deadly grace. Both are masters of stealth and speed, each with their own unique set of skills honed by millions of years of evolution. Leopards, with their powerful build and versatile hunting style, are adept climbers and swimmers. Their strength allows them to drag their prey up trees, safe from scavengers. Cheetahs, on the other hand, are built for pure speed. They are the fastest land animals, capable of reaching dizzying speeds in a matter of seconds to chase down their prey. When these two predators cross paths, it's not just a clash of strength or speed, but a battle of strategies. Each has to outwit the other, using their unique strengths to their advantage. The leopard, with its brute force and climbing ability, tries to gain the high ground, while the cheetah uses its unmatched speed to evade and strike when least expected. These encounters are not just about securing a meal, they're a battle for supremacy. The winner gains more than just a full belly, it earns the right to rule the hunting grounds, to roam unchallenged. But this victory is often short-lived, for in the wild there's always another challenger waiting in the wings. In the collision of apex predators, the victor gains not just a meal, but dominance over the hunting grounds. It's a brutal reminder of the harsh reality of nature, where survival is not just about strength or speed, but the ability to adapt and outwit. Because in the end, it's not just about being a predator, but being the apex predator. These battles, intense and often brutal, play a vital role in nature's balance. It's easy to see these confrontations as mere displays of power or survival instincts, but in reality they are crucial elements in the grand tapestry of the ecosystem. When creatures engage in territorial disputes, they're not just fighting for land, they're controlling population density. By keeping other animals at bay, they prevent overcrowding, which can lead to resource depletion and disease spread. This constant ebb and flow of dominance and retreat help ensure that animal populations remain healthy and sustainable. Then there are the mating rivalries. These are nature's way of ensuring the survival of the fittest. These battles are not just about proving strength or dominance, they're about proving worthiness as a mate. The victors pass on their superior genes to the next generation, strengthening the gene pool and improving the species' chances of survival in the long run. Even the competition for food plays a significant role in the ecosystem's health. It might seem harsh, but this struggle is a form of natural selection, a way for nature to weed out the weak and ensure only the strong survive. This ensures the continued evolution and adaptation of species within their environment. And then, of course, there are the battles between predators. These fights don't just decide who gets to eat. They also establish hierarchies that can influence the behavior of other animals and even the landscape itself. The presence of a top predator can change the grazing habits of prey, which in turn can affect vegetation growth and the habitat of other species. In the grand scheme of nature, every battle, every struggle has its purpose. These clashes aren't just about survival, they're about balance. They're about the endless cycle of life, death and rebirth that drives the natural world. They're about the intricate, beautiful and sometimes brutal dance that is the clash of the wild.